Hello guys and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to connect your console to a VPN. It's quite simple, but you're going to need a few things. So for this video we're going to need use a Xbox One and NordVPN. Um, you're going to need a computer, a working computer, a laptop and desktop both work. You can use Wi-Fi or Ethernet, but we do recommend Ethernet. Um, you're going to need a VPN service. Most of them should work. NordVPN is what we use. And last but not least, you're going to need an Ethernet adapter. Also an Ethernet cable to connect your Xbox to it. So in the description down low, I left this there. This is what I recommend, a Trinet USB 3.0. It works quite fine. They want you to plug it into a USB 3.0 slot, but I'm sure it works in any USB slot. So to get started, you're going to need to turn on your computer and connect it to the internet however you want. Next, you want to go to your internet settings. So to get there, you'll right click, open network and internet settings, go to your ethernet or Wi-Fi, whichever one you use, change adapter setting. So in your adapter settings, you should see what connections you have. So my working connection is ethernet and my VPN has two of these. It used to be one, but either one of them work. It just depends on how you have your settings. So, so what we're going to do is plug in our Ethernet adapter. I named mine an Ethernet adapter already. Yours may be named differently. So it's going to connect. It's trying to identify. Right now, what we're going to do is connect your VPN, which mine is already connected to Connect Canada. And we are going to right click on your adapter, your Nord, your VPN adapter properties go to the sharing tab check this top box and drop down to your device so we're using ethernet adapter so from here all we have to do is check our xbox it is grayed out but it should come online and if it doesn't all you have to do is go to settings network settings and you're going to hit go offline and then go online. Test your network connection. If it takes a while, that means you are not connected and there's trouble, uh, troubleshooting steps I'll show you. But if it pops up like this right away, you're good. Do not worry about what it says on the right, NAT type moderate, that is fine. Everything's gonna work just fine, including your party. So now we are connected. And now, to show you the troubleshooting steps. If you have trouble actually finding a connection, I'll try to recreate this problem. I'll unplug my adapter and plug it back in. So you should get, you should have everything grayed out, right? So here we'll say that test network will be waiting a while, right? Well, not for this case. So if I were to actually just disconnect disconnect this you'll get that actual problem so if you're dealing with something that looks like something that looks like this and it cannot find the connection then the steps you want to take are disconnecting and reconnecting your your adapters so like I already disconnected all you have to do is reconnect it this whole time you leave, leave your VPN service on and after that it should work fine. Um, these steps, go offline, go offline, does help. Go offline, go online, I'm sorry. Go offline, go online, and that usually helps. So, once again, test connection. As long as that says it's good, you're online. My friends list is showing, messages, everything. So, if you really want to check if you're connected to a VPN, you can always go to whatsmyip.org or .com. So, I'm using .com. You can check the IP right here, your IP4 IP, and you want to make sure it matches your VPN IP, and they do. So that's how you connect. Also, keep in mind that wherever, whatever server you connect to, it will affect your ping. Right now, I'm in Canada. That means my ping is going to be a little higher than normal. Uh, you can connect to almost any country and still play online. Almost any country. So what I use is normally Quick Connect, and it'll connect you to a close server. So 
Um, this will help you if you experience getting DDoS online or anything else. So also it works with Wi-Fi routers. If you want to connect your computer to a Wi-Fi router, everything on your network will be, be through a VPN. So also works for PlayStation, obviously. So hope you guys, I hope this helped. Hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and leave a comment if you have any questions, and I'll get back to you. Thanks. Thank you.